attempted are done by non-professionals and should not be attempted at home. Thank you and enjoy the show. Lance discovers his new favorite food. If there was a record for pickled eggs, I could beat it. All right, guys, uh, we're here at McLaren's. Uh, it's our day off, and we just wanted to shoot some pool. There's really no reason for you guys to be here, but like nonetheless, we got nothing better to do. <laughs> Watch. Why does the pool cue have the, uh, the thing at the end of it? Lance, that's. Uh, that's just a helper. Here you go. That's <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> What's this? You ordered eggs? No, I got a, I got a combo. I think they're pickled eggs. I've never even had you, a pickled egg. You've never, I've never had a pickled egg. <laughs> <laughs> those are good. They're not good. I love it. So good. He actually enjoys pickled eggs. What is this? If there was a record for pickled eggs, I could beat it. You know what I'm going to do for you? What, man? I'm going to check the book. Check the book, dude. If there's a record. Check the book, man. Got a record. What is it, man? Some some chap by the name of Connor Law from the UK. From the UK. Yeah. Is three pickled eggs in 58 seconds. I think we got a record. Do they calculate time differently in the UK? Like is like is time less in the UK than here in North America? Like kilometers and miles? Like you're asking if one second. Like would it would it? Are they calculated like 38 seconds? No, 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 no. Like a second, like time is universal. There's no, there's no difference there. Yeah, like a second in the UK and a second in Canada, they're exactly the same. Yeah, I can, I can kill that. I can kill that record, man. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Look, I just scored. <laughs> I just scored the pickle eggs from the bar. Okay, we're not, we're not doing this as like a record though. You're gonna be like... official. I'll be the official. Not a problem. All right, get in there, buddy. Oh my, <laughs> these pickled eggs. I know you can't smell them at home. But they smell like an old, wet dog. They look like baby ostrich eggs or something. Murphy, can you smell them from there? Can you smell these eggs from there, Murphy? Thank you very much. Just, I, I need the viewer to understand what, right, what's you know happening what? here today. All right, what is an acquired taste? Why are they a different color than the, the other ones, though? Well, that's what I've been trying to tell you. They don't look it right. It smells a little different, but it's, it must be a different flavor. They don't look accurate. Okay, well. Two, one, go. Come on, buddy. All right, you got 10 seconds, Lance. Plow it. Plow it, Lance. Shoot. 59 seconds. I, I didn't get it. You didn't get the record at all. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You tried your best. What They're delicious. Here? Well, he, you know, he loved the, the pickled eggs <laughs> that you delivered. Again. And went to the bar, got some more, and you tried it. This is my great-grandfather's pickled eggs. They're over 40 years old, guys. Okay? They're not for public consumption. I told you they didn't look right. Dude. Right, These are 40-year-old eggs. 40-year-old eggs. Take those back. Take those 40 back. 40-year-old eggs? Yeah. I'd get yourself checked out if I were you. I'm... Like, is that poisonous, guys? Guys? Is that is that poisonous? Is it poisonous? Well, anything that old can't be good for you. Okay. Um... <laughs> I drink... Drink... Drink a lot of fluids, maybe. Okay, I need to step outside. Yeah, I'll come. I'll go with them. Get it out! Come on! Get it out! Oh, I can't get it out! You gotta puke! Get it out! Get it out, buddy! Come on, get it out! There you go! There you go! Come on! Get it out! Are you okay? You need more? Yeah! And get it out! Are you okay? <laughs> Did I get it all out? I think so. Did I get it all out? You got all of that. Listen, man, when I say that it's something doesn't look right, just don't even bother. I should right? listen to you more often, man. You saved my life. This is how I know that Jill's my best friend, okay? Even when the, uh, the pressure was on and I had taken those eggs that were in that formaldehyde jar and I was on the verge of uh, dying. Jill didn't even think, think twice. He pulled me outside and he puked me. 
saved my life. That's how I know you're a guy's best friend. Yeah, Love you. you know, there's no question in my mind that he would do the same thing for me. I would. And it never, too. it never even crossed my mind not to stick my fingers down his throat. Yeah. Thank you.